Okay, so this is the foundation tier uh, metals and their extractions. This is really good practice for anyone who um, will be sitting additional year 11 chemistry. So the first question here asks us to link up um, raw materials to their uses. So a nice easy question, two marks. Okay, so you have to get two right for one mark and then all three right for two marks. So iron ore is a source of iron. Limestone removes the impurities and coke acts as a fuel. Coke contains the element carbon. Carbon reacts with oxygen in the air, forming carbon dioxide. Write a word equation. So carbon plus oxygen equals carbon dioxide. Nice, easy question to get you started. Moving on then, it says give the letter with the arrow that shows reduction taking place. Give a reason for your answer. Okay, so reduction is the loss of oxygen and the gain of electrons okay loss of oxygen gain of electrons so which one's losing oxygen is this root here the iron is losing oxygen iron is used to make steel steel is an example of an alloy which word best describes an alloy an alloy is a mixture of metals normally two different metals um, so the next question then is the thermite reaction is a reaction between aluminium powder and iron oxide. It can be demonstrated in a chemistry lab using the apparatus shown in the diagram. State why the magnesium ribbon fuse is able to start the reaction. Okay, it's exothermic, it'll give off heat, so it'll start the reaction. Complete the word equation. Aluminium is more, uh, more reactive, okay? Um, so it will displace the um, iron and the iron will end upon its own. State which reaction is reduced and give a reason for your answer. The iron oxide, because, and it's the reactants, you've got to pick one from this side, these are the reactants. Um, give a reason for your answer, because it's lost oxygen. Um, titanium is extracted from titanium chloride by reacting it with sodium at 1000 degrees in a reactor. The only other substance in the reactor is argon gas. Um, balance the simple equation for the reaction that takes place in the reactor. Okay, um, So the issue was we've got four chlorines on this side and only one chlorine on this side, so we had to put a four there. So then we end up with four sodium, so we put a four there. Okay, um, What does the reaction tell you about the reactivity of titanium? Less reactive than sodium because it's being displaced. Suggest a reason why extracting titanium from titanium chloride is an expensive process. It requires an extremely high temperature, 1,000 degrees, so that requires a lot of energy, so that's obviously going to be expensive. Um, another kind of um, displacement equation, it gives you information about pupils investigating what happens when you put shiny magnesium ribbon in copper sulfate solution. The apparatus is set up as shown below, the mass is recorded at the start and the beginning. So complete the word equation. Magnesium is more reactive, so it'll displace it. So you'll end up with magnesium sulfite and copper. Choose from the box below the name given to this type of reaction is displacement. Um, it should be equal to 80.6 because it's got a bung, nothing's going to be lost or gained. Um, if it didn't have a bung, then you'd say it was lower because it's likely a gas would have been able to escape. Put the metals in order, copper, magnesium, sodium, in order of reactivity. Okay, um, Sodium is group one, so it's going to be the most reactive, and we already know that magnesium is more reactive than copper. Another balancing equations, okay, with this one. We had two oxygens on this side, so we had to get two oxygens on this side, hence the two, so that means we had to get two leads on each side. Oxidation and re reduction both take place in the above reaction. Name the substance being oxidised and give a reason for your choice. It's carbon because it gains oxygen. State why heating the carbon cannot be used to extract aluminium from its ore. Aluminium is more reactive than carbon, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't extract it. Final question then, question number six. Um, aluminium can be extracted by electrolysis of molten aluminium oxide. State what is added to aluminium oxide to reduce its melting point. The cryolite is added. Then you had to balance the equation. Okay, remember you've got O2, so two oxygens, that means four electrons, because each oxygen would be minus two electrons. Okay. Um, Lead can be produced by uh, electrolysis of molten lead bromide. Complete the balanced electrical equation for the reaction that takes place at the cathode. Okay, so as soon as you see the word cathode, panic. It's an electrolysis question. Oh, I've written it by there as well. Um, panic, so it is negative, so it's whatever's positive is going to be attracted to it. You look them up on the table of ions. Iron, lead is positive, bromide is negative. Okay, it was two plus, so it's going to be plus two electrons. Remember, that's just the symbol for electrons. Um, electricity will split the lead 
and the bromide ion. So explain the formation of bromide during the electrolysis. So just explain what happens. So electricity will split the lead and bromide ions only if it's in an aqueous solution. Be careful of that. Remember, it will not happen if it's solid. Um, bromide ions are negative, so attracted to the positive anode. Bromide ions gain electrons and become the element bromine. Okay, and then I did a little similar equation with three marks. That Once you get your heads around it, that's a nice um, three mark question.